Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lens and Vivo invited us to go and get our hands on their new high-tech Apex phone. And like the last Apex phone, it's got more than one really innovative cool feature. Now let's start with the display and what's interesting here isn't the resolution or the technology type used in the panel, but rather that the entire thing is essentially a fingerprint reader. Now this is taking in-display fingerprint readers to a whole new level because not only is it quick to register, and way more convenient to use, you can also register and use two fingerprints at once. Now in our early first look, it was actually mind blowing to see how well it worked. We can't wait to see this on more phones in the near future. It'll make trying to find that one spot for scanning a thing of the past. And almost as interesting is that this phone is completely port and button free. Now that means there are some interesting choices here. There's no earpiece, for instance, and that means that it uses the entire body of the phone as the sound source, which then vibrates the screen and turns that basically into a speaker. The physical buttons are replaced by capacitive and pressure sensitive areas on the side of the phone, and you use those if you need to turn the volume up and down, for instance. Now you may be assuming that because there's no ports anywhere that this would use standard wireless charging, but if you saw those gold contact points at any point earlier in the video, you all know that actually that's not the case. Instead, Vivo has used what it calls a mag port. It's a magnetic connector and it snaps really easily onto the back of the phone using some quite powerful magnets. It may not be wireless, but with 18 watts of power, it's plenty quick enough. As for all that glass, that features continuous curves of varying thickness and that's created by using a hot bending process as well as CNC carving. Now we don't know yet, when or even if this phone is going to be launched. If it's like the last Apex model, it's just a concept and what will eventually happen is they'll rebrand it as a different phone or they'll just use some of those technologies and put it into an upcoming smartphone. Whichever one of those turns out to be the case, we are very much looking forward to it. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on all the social media handles you can think of. Subscribe, hit that thumbs up. And I'll see you again in the next one.